Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're enjoying your day, and uh, hopefully this this video tutorial will help you in some respects if you're restoring one of these old trucks like I am. Uh, this is a four-port vacuum switch that I'm replacing because one of the one of the ports is broken. You can see this one's got four ports on it. This one's got a port broken on it, so I had to remove it and find another one. It turns out these these are actually two sourced vacuum switches. Uh, one of them controls the purge valve on the uh, carbon canister, and that one opens up at 160 degrees. This one here uh, receives uh, ported vacuum, and it's supposed to drive the EGR valve and uh, the cutoff for the uh, for the transmission lockup. It controls the lo transmission lockup switch. So when you accelerate it, and it uh, breaks vacuum and uh, the switch opens. Uh, when you apply vacuum and switch, switch rather than it's closed, it opens the switch. So the switch doesn't deliver electricity to the, uh, to the transmission lockup clutch. Uh, I needed that. I'm doing a workaround. It used to have two thermal vacuum switches in it. And I'm doing a workaround where I'll have to drive, uh, pull vacuum from this switch port to this switch port. Uh, those will both be ported vacuum. What, to, what you have to do, because you can't really get a wrench on those flats uh, if you don't have the right wrench. You, you, I don't know what happened here, but apparently somebody tried to do something with the switch and broke it. Uh, you've got to have the right kind of tool for that. And it's, it's a 22 millimeter oxygen sensor wrench. You can get a, uh, a kit at the Lona Tool auto parts stores. Um, this is what I use. It comes with three. Three different uh, sensor removal tools. And it's a Lona Tool. It's about 30 bucks if you decide to buy it. But uh, I'll return it and get my money back. But I used it to, to loosen the switch. I'm going back in with tough on tape. And hopefully I'll be able to uh, get the EGR working again. Uh, and you really do want EGR because this is supposed to be, this vehicle is supposed to be running 195 uh, degree thermostat. Uh, what the EGR does is it dilutes the incoming charge so it cools it down. I'm running a 185 right now, but I, uh, you'll get better fuel in, uh, economy and I can do anything I, I want to do anything I can to improve that um, I got the electric choke working a couple weeks ago and that's a help uh, had a fuel tank leak that was not a problem uh, it was not a help so I fixed that I had to replace the tank um, when you leak fuel you're not getting gas mileage with it so uh, hopefully this will this will allow me to get just a little better fuel mileage and um, interact with the other switches that are not working right now. Thanks for watching.